Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Fleakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Along with Israel, like foreign brothers that like the heathens. But the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are you so called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. And so this is Brother Yakal Amah for lesson and um, today's lesson will be entitled The Prophets in the New Testament often quoted from the Old Testament. You know, I just want to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because the Old Testament and the New Testament both go hand in hand. They both link with each other, man. You know, because back in the ancient world, in the Roman Empire, we read Apostles Paul's epistles. You know, you will often hear him say, as it is written, you know. And what was he referring to? As it is written in the Old Testament, you know, because that was the only... Uh, books, the writings that they had during that time, you know, but not only Apostle Paul quoted from the Old Testament, you had Yahweh Shai, you had um, Apostle Peter as well, you know, so I'm just going to go on some um, accounts and, um, you know, make a quick lesson and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there, you edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemo Shai, if I didn't say it already, but, um, the first scripture is, um, you know, Romans 9 and 13, you know, which uh, this epistle that Apostle Paul wrote to the church of Romans uh, were Israelites, were the Israelite foreigners that were in Rome, you know. Uh, this is uh, Romans 9 and 13, and it reads, as it is written, Jacob have I love, which who is Jacob? Jacob are the Israelites. You know, Jacob is another name for, for Israelites. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, right? Which Esau, uh, Esau, Edom, they are the biblical, um, the so-called white people today are the biblical Edomites. You know, they descend from the forefather Esau. You know, now Apostle Paul, you know, he was quoting from the Old Testament, which is in Malachi, the first verse, and verse, verses 1 through 3. And it reads Malachi 1 and 1, it says, The burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord Yahweh. Yet you say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right, so the Lord. So Apostle Paul was reiterating this in the New Testament. The Lord loves Jacob the Israelites, beginning on with his elect. But the Lord hates Esau, the biblical Edomites. You know? So Apostle Paul was, was quoting from the Old Testament. Because you have a lot of Christians and gainsayers and naysayers that they don't believe in the Old Testament, only in the New Testament. But they both, both books... Old and New Testament linked together, man. And uh, there are some prophecies in the Old Testament that have not been fulfilled. You know? So, um, let's go to the next precept in the book of Mark. Chapter 7 and verse 6. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking, of course. He answered and said to them, Well, have Isaiah, which is a prophet Isaiah, Prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honor me with their lips, but the heart which is their mind is far from me. Right. You know? Yeah, because Jake, you know, they honor the most high with their lips. They do a lot of lip service, you know, glorifying in their lips, but their mind is far from the Lord, man. You know, and Yahweh Shai, he was quoting from the book of Isaiah. And Yahweh Shai, he quoted a lot from Isaiah as well, man. Um, 
So let's get the prop, the, the scripture in Isaiah. Isaiah 29 and 13. And it reads, Word for the Lord said, For as much as the people draw near with me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me. I love the Lord, praise the Lord, you know, but have removed their heart, which heart goes back to the Hebrew word la, which means your mind, but have removed their mind or their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Right, so Yahweh I was quoting from the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah. You know, and that's true. That and and this scripture is still playing out today, man. You know, even amongst the circumcision of these Israelite camps, that's not um, that that don't preach uh, sound doctrine. They're um, they honor the Lord with their lips, but their their minds far from the Lord, man. You know, they bringing guns to camps. You know, they have uh, men with long hair. In the congregation with dreads, you know, uh, getting the lineups, shape ups, you know, or edge ups, you know, and there's many other things, man. So that's just, you know, just a few examples of that. But Yahweh Shai, he quoted from the Old Testament. Um, the next one, and Yahweh Shai was a prophet, you know, he prophesied. 70 AD, before it happened, you know, and he prophesied his second return, which he's going to return these times, man, on the, on the chariots of Israel, you know, the so-called UFOs. Now, uh, the next one is uh, Apostle Paul again, Book of Romans 11, which there are, this, it's a lot of precepts, I can you know, but these are just the ones I chose for the, for the sake of, for the, for the sake of this lesson. Uh, but this is uh, Romans eleven and verse eight. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Right, and that's talking about the two thirds of Israel, man. You know, Yahweh by Shemosh eyes blinded the two thirds of Israel. For them not to see the truth spiritually, man. You know, they have eyes and ears, but it's talking about spiritual, having spiritual um, eyes and ears to be able to be able to understand the word, man. Uh, verse nine says, "And David saith, you know, which he's recording, quoting from Psalms, I believe it's the sixty ninth chapter. Let the table be be made a snare and a trap, and right, and table is where you eat at." You know, which will be the doctrine, you know. So King David, he put a curse on the wicked two-thirds of Israel, man. Let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them, man. You know, because the Lord, you know, put certain stumbling blocks for the wicked. You know, because the Lord doesn't want every Israelite to get it. And the Lord can do whatever he wants to do, man. The Lord doesn't have to explain nothing to nobody. You know? And so, if the Lord wants to bond the two-thirds for, for them not to receive the love of the truth, to be justified and destroy them, then he can do that, man. You know, his people are his creation. Um, It says, verse 10, Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see and bow their and bow down their back all way, you know. And let's just get that for that vacation. Uh, uh, Psalm sixty nine. Well, let's go to let's deal with verse eight first. Just to deal with order, Isaiah twenty nine. And verse ten. But Lord Yahweh, I poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have be covered. Covered, right? That's right. You know, so the Lord is blinded two thirds of Israel for them not to receive the truth. You know, according to Isaiah six, as well. You see, 
So let's go to the other one, Psalm 69. King David was, uh, let's see, uh, yep, this is Psalms, Psalm of King David, Psalm 69, verse 22. It says, let their table come a snare before them, and that which shall have been for their welfare, which the welfare would be the truth, the aid. You know, because this truth is what aids you, aids the Israelites, you know. It says, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loin continually to shake, man. You know, so this is King David pouring out a curse upon the wicked Israelites, the two-thirds of Israel. Because it was wicked Israelites during his time as well, during his day. Such as King Saul, the house, the house of Saul. You know, because it was it was warned against each other, the house of David and the house of Saul. You know, but the house of King David waxed greater and greater, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker, as it says in the, in the account. You know, it says, verse 24, Pour out thy indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, man. That's right, you know. So King David, he was throwing up curses upon the wicked Israelites, you know. So the last one will be Apostle Peter, which that's spiritual that we just read Psalm of King David because Apostle Peter was King David in his past life, you know. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter 2 and verse 6. And it reads, Wherefore also it is, it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, and he that believes on him shall not be confounded. Right. Because whoever believes on Yahweh Shai is never going to be confounded. You know? And Apostle Peter, he was quoting from Isaiah once again. Isaiah 28, 16. Therefore thus saith Yahweh Bashimon Shai, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tri stone, a precious cornerstone, which once again is Yahweh Shai, a sure, a sure foundation, he that believe shall not make haste. Right. So, you know, that, that's talking about Yahweh Shai because he is a chief cornerstone. You know, a cornerstone is the main block of the building. So Yahweh Shai is the main focal point in the ministry. Because he comes in a volume of a book. It is written of him. As it says in Psalms 40 and 7. Because Yahweh Shai is the word. According to John, St. John, the first chapter. This is Psalms 40 and 7. Then said, I, lo, I come in a volume of a book. It is written of me. That's right. You know, so yeah, I can. That was just a quick lesson. You know the um, you know the uh, the Old Testament links with the New Testament. You know, so uh, the prophets in the New Testament often quoted from the Old Testament. So you know, the Old and New Testament goes hand in hand. So Lord, when I was edified, and until next time, shalom.